Yo, guys, massive, massive announcement for classic WoW people for an event being put on by Starforge slash OTK. So, yes, that's right. A 100k open tournament from Starforge, OTK Starforge. We got Raider IO involved. Blizzard has approved a $100,000 open tournament that the finals are going to happen on October 31st. Character creation, by the way, doesn't start until October 6th. There is a very specific set of rules. There's been a lot of thought that's gone into this. We've gotten some, some feedback from a lot of people. Basically, how this event is going to go. Character creation is going to start October 6th. That means this Friday at noon, character creation is going to begin. Officially, you start making your characters. You're gonna make it on the server, and then you are going to level basically for three weeks. Right, you have all the way until October 30th to level, to gear up, yeah, anything you need to do to prepare for the tournament. Specific things, we're going to go on Horde. This is actually going to be Horde characters. So that means we, a lot of the other stuff we've done in the past, Alliance, this time we're going a Horde. You betrayed us. Listen, I betrayed no one. You claim that I betrayed the Alliance? The Alliance aren't animals. The Alliance aren't dogs. What a fucking liar, dude. Weasley little liar, dude. The Alliance will sit atop our throne in Stormwind as we watch as these horde savages slay each other for sport, for our entertainment. That's what's gonna happen. All right, you say you betrayed the Alliance? BS, okay? So yeah, this is gonna be Horde. Horde side tournament. Can you still participate? I will not be participating, I'll be hosting, right? And also, we'll have Zaryu hosting, we'll have Soda hosting, we're gonna have, we're gonna be involved with a bunch of people. Uh, we're, we're gonna have, I'm sure we're gonna have guests, host announcers come in for some parts of the tournament and whatnot. The finals will be uh, on uh, October 31st, which is basically right before BlizzCon. And I know a lot of people are hoping for big news at BlizzCon. I know I certainly am. You guys, you guys know me, you guys know how I feel, right? You guys know where I come from. I'm hoping for a Classic Plus. I'm hoping for a Season of Mastery. So this will, this will basically go leading up right into BlizzCon and uh, we'll go from there. Holy Copium, true. Yeah, true. So yeah, basically here's how it's gonna work. You're gonna create a brand new Horde character on Skull Rock and your character is gonna have SFMG at the end of its name. Now character creation does not begin until October 6th. So you don't start until October 6th. Don't go and start making your character now. Log out of your character and hit the back button. Cool. Resync on Battle.net with on Raider.io Classic. How are you going to know? I mean, we have a whole system, right? Because you got to have the registration form. You, you're, we're going to have like Raider.io and all that stuff. So there's, there's, there's ways of doing this. Also, there's a video. Signing up for the OTK Hardcore Makara event just takes a few minutes. First, you want to log on to the Skull Rock server on Hardcore Classic North American Realms. Once here, create your horde So don't make your characters sure now. Add SFMG at the end of its name. Once you're done, make sure to enter the world on your character and then log out. Head back over to Raider.io Classic and resync your Battle.net account to refresh your Blizzard info. Once that's updated, fill out the registration form. And so don't be trying to cheat, okay? I know we just got off of school, all right? We'll have this. This is how you sign up. Select your SFMG character. Too complicated? Yeah, man, too complicated for a $100,000 prize pool. Like, <laughs> come on, man. This is a $100,000 prize pool open, okay? You're gonna say too complicated? Like, damn, bro. I, like, I don't know where you are, man. A big part of this, by the way, we're talking about, you know, the rules and stuff. A lot of this stuff is, is written out here, but to be honest, the rules are fairly simple. There's very few things that are, and they're very specific. There's like a few specific things that you can't do, but this is Magora, right? So we didn't want to have a situation where it's like you have a bunch of arbitrary rules and this and that. 
that. Like, there's no Petri flask, for example. Like, all consumable items, unless otherwise specified in these rules, are permitted except for the below mentioned items. Flask of petrification. There's no mind control cap. Mind control cap even was one that we we're like, okay, well, do we want to ban this one or not? And what it came down to is like supposedly like reports of like bugs of people falling through the world or something like that. And it's like, look, let's just ban it because there, there's not, I mean, we'll just ban this one. It's pretty straightforward. There's not a whole lot of opportunities for not understanding stuff. Right, so if the rules are all out there. Every, all the information is all out there. If we do make any changes to the rules, which we, I, I mean, I've said this from the beginning, there's a chance that we look at something and we're like, you know what, maybe we didn't think of something yet, but if we decide on something before the tournament or whatever, then we will, we will make that adjustment and then we will announce it, right? But it is up to you. If you are competing, it is up to you to pay attention to that announcement. It is up to you to, to follow up with that. The information is available to you. Uh, but yeah, this what we said is uh, from the from the raids, no loot from the raids. That was based on feedback, where a lot of people were like, "Yeah, I mean, you have to rush, and then you have to you have to hit. I mean, obviously you want to hit 60 as fast as possible, but you get one lockout, right? So if you if you don't hit 60 before that lockout, then you get an additional lockout, and then there's the getting like funneled gear or something like that. Like it, it could just get it could get kind of hairy and messy, and we're like, it seemed like the overall amount of feedback was. People did not want to have to be forced into that situation. We're like, you know what? You can go and within reason, within reason, you can pretty much run like a UBRS or, or any of the five mans, ten mans. Like you, you can you can run those as much as you want. And again, this is a tournament that we had uh, we had approved and we had uh, we talked to Blizzard about this and Blizzard is supporting this tournament, which is awesome. So we're going to have Blizzard support on this. This is the Starforge OTK Hardcore Mokgora tournament that we're doing. Duel for Deletion. It's Bloodsport. It's going to be wild. And uh, like I said, I'll be hosting. Zaryu is going to be hosting. Soda is going to be hosting. Some of your favorite streamers competing. You'll see uh, some of your favorite streamers hosting. You'll see unknowns, dude. That's what I'm excited about. The unknowns. All right? The community players. The people that go up and they, they, they play and they grind and they're good at the game. And now they have an opportunity to put it on the table. And look, this is Mokgora. Right. This is this is dual for deletion. There's a lot of variables. There's a lot of things that can happen along the way that sometimes are out of your control. I mean, this is this is classic. Wow. That happens regardless. But now on something like this with like razor thin margins of error and, and you know, hey, something happens and you die. Right. Then you got to start over. So this is going to be crazy. I, there is going to be somebody in this tournament that is an unknown. A champion, okay? A champion of the realm is going to rise up. An unknown. And it could be you. It could be you, champ. That somebody is going to rise up, and you have all the streamers, you have all the players that everybody knows, and everybody's, you know, they're, they're doing their thing and all that, but it could be a new guy. A new champion will rise. And look, they might not win. They might not win the whole thing. But they, they might get in the money. They might get through qualifiers. They might make a big run and people are like, damn, this person is cool. Damn, this person's a good player. That's gonna be sick. It's gonna be amazing. So all the rules are here, how everything works. It's very clear. Obviously we've done we've done a bunch of WoW tournaments before, whether it's back in the day with tips and the CDL, whether it was back uh, just other stuff we've done, like you know doing the classic beta tournament and stuff like that. This is one that hasn't been done before, but it's a big undertaking. It's gonna be very exciting, man. I mean, like I said, I'll be hosting it uh, with Zaryu, with Soda, with, uh, we'll have, we'll have more and more people kind of getting involved, I'm sure, as, like, guest hosts and stuff like that. We're gonna have interviews. It's gonna be a good time. Yeah, it's gonna be a good time. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be fun. Uh, I'm very excited. So, yeah, the, the OTK Starforge Hardcore Mokgora tournament. It's gonna be big time. The Open. I'm, I'm excited about being an Open, because I want to see an unknown dude. I want to see a guy rise up from the ashes, Okay. I want to see a guy come out the mud. You know what I'm saying? We are doing a, a hardcore, the OTK Starforge Hardcore Mokgora tournament. It's an open. All right. Are there any confirmed streamers going to participate? I think if you are a WoW streamer, that this is the, like, you've been handed a layup for content. Like, this is this is easy. You know what I mean? Like, this is a, this is a content layup for you. The OTK Hardcore Makara tournament announcement. The largest tournament in history begins on October 6th. 100k prize pool open to everyone. That might be the biggest prize pool World of Warcraft tournament there has ever been. 100k Magara tourney. I'm about to lose my fucking life in this. See ya boys, I'm out.
Let's take a look. This trailer is so badass. So badass, dude. In partnership with Starforge Radio and Blizzard. Oh, maybe Blizzard put a big money in it, chat. So badass. Oh, shit. I challenge Makora. Oh, shit. Is that, that's tomorrow? A day and a half or something? Uh huh. And prepare to fight. My mana is low. My dad. To the death. Aww, oh, he died, bro. Is this a Hasmin goal? That has to be, right? Prize pull for a king. 100,000. There it death is, boys. There it is. Looks so good. Character creation, October 6th. That's tomorrow, all right? The leveling dates will be the 6th through the 30th. I feel like I should join. Am I no life in one month to get blasted by one RNG and I lose the duel and I spent a month on? Holy moly, dude. Can I hit level 60 in 24 days even? Can I even do that? <laughs> Can I even do that, dude? Frick.